In this video, you will discover the number one thing to realize if you're not attracting the right man for you. Hi, I'm Brody Boyd, and I'm the husband of Antje Boyd, and over, for over 16 years, I've been helping single successful men to attract the right woman for them, so I have a unique perspective into what makes the male brain tick, which we're going to talk about more in this video. So go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe for more great videos like this, and let's go ahead and dive right in. So one thing I notice, and I've noticed throughout my life when uh, interacting with certain women, dating certain women, is there's a difference that some women have in their energy that comes across. Some women, you might say, come across as more closed off. Some women come across as more open. Now, this is what I've realized about myself and about the men I've coached and men in general. The women who seem energetically more closed off, men stay, may still be attracted to them, but the attraction can only reach a certain level because part of attraction is also feeling that a man has a chance with you, that he can actually, um, that maybe there's some interest from your side as well. Otherwise, he will feel uncomfortable making the approach, engaging, investing. He won't feel that there's anything being received, that he's not welcomed, he's not invited. And so it can cause men to just stay back and hold back. And yeah, like I said, he might be physically attracted to you, he might be interested from a distance, but he's not gonna take that action, he's not gonna engage. Now, on the other hand, there's other women who are we will have what we say is a more open energy, a more available energy. They're projecting something that says, I'm inviting connection. I'm inviting something into my life. I'm inviting love into my life. I'm inviting um, a conversation into my life. And this energy can come across in various ways, such as open body language, smiling, um, but it's more of an energetic component. And I'll explain this in a little bit, how, where, this, where the energetic component, I feel, really comes from. Now, what happens with these women that are more open, they also tend to give more signals to, to men, to, to the types of men they're interested in, or to men in general, um, such as smiling, such as eye contact, like I said, open body language. And this causes men to be inspired, to want to connect, to want to talk, to want to approach, to want to invest, and see if there's something there, to invite on a date, to ask them on a date, to see if there's something there. Because especially if a man feels there may be some interest coming back, there's some level of uh, invitingness coming back, he's gonna feel compelled to take that action. He's gonna feel rewarded for taking that action and, and not like he's going to get rejected, like he's afraid that if he approaches, it's just not gonna go anywhere. It's not worth his time because she's not receptive to that. Now, what causes this energetic difference? Well, what I feel, there's a phrase out there and there's been a movement for a while that is the happiness movement, the positive psychology movement, which says you should just be happy the way you are. You should just be happy being single. Enjoy your life, um, live your best life. You know, if, if a man comes, he will come. You know, there's other things like, you know, you can't miss your soulmate and if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Now, there's a lot of value in that, actually. There's a lot of value in the idea of you wanna be happy, you wanna be whole, you wanna be fulfilled before you attract your man. You wanna have a great life that you enjoy. And that you know the right man will come through in the right time, generally. However, I feel what happens is some women take this the wrong way and they take it to an extreme. And this is where the issue lies. And this is where I feel most women who are single are single. This is actually a huge component of this. Um, now, what it is, is that women will take on this mindset, I'm just happy, I enjoy my life, and what happens energetically is it causes that same energy we're talking about, this closed off energy, like I don't need you, I don't need a man, I don't need anything, which is basically sending a signal to men and to the man that you would want to attract, um, stay away you know it's don't bother you know or i might reject you if you talk to me or you know go invest your energies elsewhere because i don't really need a man in my life i don't really need you i'm happy i'm good that's the energetic message that a man can pick up subconsciously when a woman is embodying that now what will then happen is of course she won't get approached she won't get uh, asked out very often she won't get positive signals from men because they're not bothering and then she'll wonder Oh, what's going on? Maybe I should just be more happy. <laughs> Maybe I just enjoy my life more. Um, or she gets resentful and says, you know, there's no good men out there. I can't seem to attract any men. 
Um, men don't aren't interested. They don't want me. The ones I'm interested in are interested. But it's, they don't realize it's because of this energy that's being put off. It's a closed energy. Now, what is the solution to this? Well, the solution is vulnerability. The solution is openness. How do you get to that? Through feminine longing. You know, David Data, who I took a workshop with, he talked about feminine longing. So it's about combining both. The idea that you can be happy ha uh, by yourself, you could be happy enjoying your life, doing what you want, and you could also have a feminine longing to have that man in your life. And you could actually embody that longing. You can have them both together where you're not on one side. So the, the, the extreme of that would be like desperation, right? Like, oh, I need a man. Where is my man? It's not happening. Please, please, any man getting any attention, just like grasping and wanting men and staring at them and maybe approaching men yourself or reaching out to them or inviting them out yourself. So maybe taking more into, into the, going into the masculine. And so that's the extreme of that. But there's a balance. There's a balance where you can open your heart. You can be longing for a man in your life. You can really want that. And you can express that with your body language, with an openness, with a smile, with, a, with making eye contact, with um, engaging in conversation, with showing warmth towards men in general, appreciation. You know, valuing men, valuing a man, what he can offer to your life. Because, yeah, you might be, everything might be great, but what else is there? What else is possible when you have a power partner by your side, when you have a man who's adding to your life, who's opening the doors for you, who's opening the jars, who's um, protecting you, who's providing for you, who's um, being your hero, who's your lover, who's your your um, confidant, your soulmate, your your partner in crime, you know, your advent, your sidekick. So what can that add to your life and to feel that and to feel that how great that would be and what that can amplify while also still you can still be happy in your life. You can still enjoy your life and adding in that feminine longing, that openness, that vulnerability, because it is vulnerable. It's vulnerable to want something. It's vulnerable to long for something, to actually acknowledge that you do want a man in your life, that you do want a partner, that you do want that protector. You want that passionate, you know, amazing sex. You want that, you know, the the chemistry you want the like being like a teenager again so it's it's acknowledging that and continuing to work on yourself and being practicing that vulnerability so it's scary it can feel risky it can feel like oh my i might get hurt again i might be abused again there might be traumatic things that happen in your past that cause you to close up to have trust issues but just realize as long as that's closed up, as long as it's whether it's from fear or feeling like, oh, I'm good, I, I don't, I, I, you know, I'm happy the way I am following that old advice, like we said, it, either way, it, what it creates is that closed energy, which is not going to draw a man to you. That's the, probably a big part of the reason why you're single, why most women are single is that piece. Of course, there's lots of other things that women, you know, that are maybe not understood fully that could be done better. Other deeper levels of healing like my wife does with attachment style and with um with trauma and, and childhood energetic components but that's a big piece and of course those components can help with this of course but i think it can be powerful for you to realize where the root may be coming from in the sense maybe not the root of the root but one of the roots that lack of that 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 emotional longing vulnerability that can be a huge piece that once you can open that up can make you in a radiant attractive incredible woman that the right man will approach he will invest in he will want to be your hero he'll feel appreciated he'll feel valued he'll feel like you want that in your life and he can feel like you're still not a, a level of desperation or um um a doormat type of energy because you also have the other piece too that you are whole and working on yourself regularly so awesome hope that helps wanted to share that that's a powerful download i got that i was realizing just from watching different types of women throughout my life and i wanted to share that with you so if you like this again please give a, a like comment, thumbs up, um, subscribe for more videos like this. Um, that'll help us make more videos like this. And of course, we have our free quiz, which will be over here. Um, and magnetize your man quiz to get more customized gifts for you and a playlist course or recommended video for you over here. So hope you get that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Much love. And we'll talk again very soon. Bye-bye.